All right, everybody, we're back, and this time playing some Nidalee Top. We are against Garen. I'm going to be going my split push build, which is Trinity Force into uh, either Blade the Rune King or Titanic Hydra. Kind of just depends what we're against. This one is looking like a Titanic Hydra into a Hallbreaker because they really just don't have tanks. I mean, I could get it for just Garen, but I don't know if it's that worth it because I don't think Garen really goes tanky. Like, I think he just gets some... Um, he just gets like stride breaker and stuff. What is this massive disrespect? My family is wow. He gets Blast Cone. That is disgusting. Think I can kite this? Hmm. Does Vi kill? Hopefully if I kills, yeah. I tried to kite that as long as I could. If I was three, we would have destroyed them there. Like, actually destroyed them. That's so stupid. There's a blast cone there, like, this early in the game. It's actually really dumb. But we're fine. It's it's okay. Leave now. The Garen got like so lucky that entire sequence it's actually kinda crazy. Like bro should actually just buy a lotto ticket. The level up into the blast cone is kinda insane. But what can you do, right? He did go boots. Which is interesting. I guess he's gonna try and kill me. Since we have ourselves the... What? How was I in tower range there? Uh, since I have the presence of mind, I don't know why I keep thinking it's called precision, but I know it's not precision, so I stop myself from saying it. Uh, but yeah, since we have that, we just have to just continuously poke him and then continuously heal ourselves over and over again. Also, our bot lane is somehow losing to Wukong AD carry. So that's... Actually insane, not gonna lie, but <laughs> we'll see if we can uh, hopefully win something topside here. But yeah, the the reason this build is actually like way, way, way better than it used to be is the f simple fact that E now has the AD to it. So, your swipe is actually quite decent. So, I am very happy about that. Because now you can go AD and not feel bad about it. And it is just the stronger version um, early to mid game. So, it's better to be, in my opinion stronger early than it is to be late because well let's just be honest it's solo queue like people rage quit before 15 minutes if they're behind so 
Yeah, because of that. We, uh... Oh, Kane's not here, okay. But yeah, so because of that, we have that extra early power that we did not have before. And it also does kind of mean, you know, you don't fall off a cliff late game. You are going AD. Which is why I pushed for the change as hard as I did. Gonna make sure we get that demolish. Keep putting traps. Our bot lane seriously just needs to stop. And then we can, you know, be fine. We are gonna go tabby this game because they just have an unreal amount of physical damage. But yeah, we, uh, we will hopefully get a decent amount of grasp stacks. And then, you know, with that we'll, uh, be quite tanky. What? Oh my god. You have to go for him. If you're gonna do it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, she doesn't have alt. Oh man. I think if she has alt, that's just free kill. Free, uh, double. Prowling on two legs felt strange one. Okay, good jungler. Thank you. She did not push this wave back into the Garen. Thank you very much. Okay, and he misses the plate. Perfect. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, do consider hitting the subscribe button. I do play pretty much just purely off meta. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoy that kind of content, then I am here. <laughs> but yeah, that's why we're rushing tabbies, because Garen plus Kane ganks is just... A little you know too much but now that I have Sheen pushing in is actually way more effective than before one for tower damage and two for champ damage since the Sheen is pretty much going to be unlimited procs for us so we don't really run out of mana I think our Caitlyn not getting tabbies is actually really stupid, by the way. But yeah, if you guys are not new to the channel, you guys probably noticed that I uh, don't have Ignite, and the reason is just purely because of the type of build that I'm going. Since we are going to be perma split push. Um, because of that, I am going to, of course, want teleport so I can just teleport back into the lane over and over again. I don't know if that's the, the new vibe build or not, but hopefully because... I don't know if we're going to need damage, or what, but... 
I really, uh, I'm really hoping that it's not like a meme build. <laughs> Cause this is ranked, you know, would be nice to win. Okay, good. We got conditioning. Perfect. Conditioning is OP when you get Hallbreaker, by the way. Because it buffs your stats even more. Since it does, uh, it's a multiplier. But yeah, it might not look like we're winning this lane, but we are hard winning this matchup. Like, hard winning. We are up 30 CS. We're up tower plates. We're gonna be up another one. Yep. And we are up in grasp stacks, which is actually underrated. We've used it 43 times. And it's not like we haven't been ganked, or had any, like, shenanigans happen. I think he got a, uh, not a pot, uh, plant. Cause he gained a lot of HP from, like, nowhere. Actually, he does have D-Shield, so the healing is, you know, a decent amount. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to shove this in. Oh, I didn't get that rip. And now we have Triforce. You're probably thinking we should go Divine Sunder, but Triforce is just the objectively better split pushing item. It's just way, way, way better. Um, because the move speed that you get is actually very underrated, being able to get around the map faster, get into a lane to push, which is why going Blade the Rune King isn't uh, mandatory and going Hallbreaker is actually like OP with Titanic since you get a whole bunch of free HP from both having both of them and not to mention you get the Triforce like damage passive or whatnot when you are pushing so Just have to flash out. No, I think. Dude, please. Where were you? I thought she was here. How the hell did she get over the wall? Oh my god, he doesn't hit the trap. That's actually unfortunate. Yeah. Not the worst thing. Wait, don't tell me I have to go against this super fed monkey bot lane. Because. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Drag's coming up anyways. Well, I know Garen can't 1v1 me, so that's the important part. I don't know why Caitlyn went top lane, I'm not gonna lie. Really does make sense. Siege. 
finished. Focus. Ah, I can hear the wind again. Hmm. What is this guy talking about? Hello, Caitlin? You're gonna go top, go top. What? I assume monkey might be here. This has already done a thousand damage. I have a feeling they're gonna FF, and if they do, well, you guys are getting a short version of this video too, because you know, I just don't got time to try and get perfect videos out over and over again. As much as I would like to. Nice. Got the cannon. Worth. Go away, monkey. Get a little monkey. Alright. We're gonna grab Titanic. It's such a massive power spike, it's actually kind of hilarious how good Titanic is on Nidalee. It's just really underrated, I think. But I think it's only, maybe not only good, but it's just extremely good with this kind of build. Okay, well, she used literally everything, so that's fine. Prowling on two legs says strange one. Wow, that didn't reach. I'm guessing this is warded. Yeah, it's warded. Let's see if I can get here in time to maybe pick up a kill. It's too fast. The champion's too stupid. Yo, can you go away? There we go. Freaking Zyra. Oh. That pink in there the entire time, huh? Alright, we got Titanic. This is big. Get the extra damage. Which is why Overgrowth plus Grasp is insane with this. Now we go Hole Breaker, and then we just Perma Split Push. I mean, we kind of do the, like, we kind of have been, I guess, in a way, but we still go to the drags before we get to the three items. Because the Triforce Power Spike is very, very strong. 
As you can see in the last uh, drag fight we had. What does he have? Cleaver? But yeah, it's just really good because you get the... Uh, you get the extra auto attack off with Cougar Q because it's a reset. So like that. You auto and then Q. And look at this. It does... A lot of people forget that it has the, uh, the extra damage to uh, turrets as well. I don't know if I can kill this guy. He's actually strong. Okay, no matter I do. He's not weak. He's good amount of items. Way more kills than I do. Kinda scared Kane might come and just kill me, but we'll see. Oh. Okay, you just kill him, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> Never mind. I totally thought she was about to die. Oh my god, that didn't hit. Or didn't kill it. They're definitely coming top, right? I can't kill this guy. But we get a lot of damage off on him. Even though I took a lot to just kill the tower. Not enough gold. But should be fine. So you have to reset. You probably lose this, but I get to this quick enough. We've opened the gates, so. When the gates are opened this hard, I think you just lose. Yeah, he backed. There is no need to climb above the canopy. I don't have uh I don't have Hallbreaker, which is actually really unfortunate. It makes our split pushing a little less effective. I think our Vi is actually just 1v9 right now. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe going to Eclipse is OP. Yeah, you must have forgot, my boy. You must have forgot. And that's why you don't need to go. Sunder, because you can still kill them with Triforce. Like I said, they don't really... The Garens, they don't build, uh... Like, defensively. Like, he, if he goes Thorn Mail, he gets kind of useless. But yeah, that, my friends, is the Split Push Nidalee build that I've been doing. I think... Let's find out. I think I was like... I think I'm like Emerald 3 or whatever. We'll see. I haven't played too much ranked, so... Eh. 
or emerald for a 69 lp baby just for that you guys got to make sure you drop a like on the video stay tuned for the tom kench video uh, that will be coming the part two and if you guys have suggestions for other off meta builds then you just can uh, drop them in the comment section below and i read all the comments and respond to most as well so i'll see you guys uh, then and hope you enjoyed peace